Hello. Good evening, madam. I am calling from your bank. Uh, but before we continue, I'm afraid I have to ask you a number of security questions in order for you to confirm that right. it is in fact uh, you you are speaking with to me. Are we ready? Yeah. Good. What is the day? What's the day? Yes. Third, Tuesday, Monday. I'm afraid I'm going to have to accept your first answer, madam, which was Thursday, which is wrong. I'm afraid I have to terminate this call. It is totally innocent. Naked. Hi. Good afternoon, sir. I'm calling from the money transfer. From the what? The Eastern Union money transfer. Eastern European money transfer? Yes. Uh, it says here on the computer that you have uh, 86,000 Ugandan dollars uh, waiting to be paid directly into your bank account. Oh, yeah. It seems that you have answered all the security questions correctly, but you're having a little trouble uh, gaining access to it. To what? To your bank account. Oh, yeah. Yes. I just need to obtain your sort code and uh, account number, and we can... You're pay having a fucking laugh. I beg your pardon? You're calling me up, making out that you that I'm one for money, and you want my bank details. Are you kidding? N nobody has. Are you kidding? There is no price draw here, sir. What the sir. hell are you talking about? Who are you? Somebody has paid their monies into your bank account, sir. Somebody has paid eighty-six what? Thousand Ugandan dollars. Well, what does that? What is that? What is that in, in sterling? At the current exchange rate, the Ugandan monies would translate into approximately. Seventeen pounds fifty two pence. Seventeen pounds fifty two pence and you want my sort code? An account number, sir. You've got no chance. But sir, we have eighty six thousand Ugandan dollars standing by waiting to be paid directly into your bank account. I don't care, I don't even know who you are. Well basically, sir, if we do not pay the monies into your bank account, then we have to charge you storage because we have to keep the monies here. You have to charge me storage. What are you on about? Sir, we need your bank account details. You need my bank account details? Yes. How's about this? Fuck off. Is that the sort code, sir? Hello? Good afternoon, madam. I am calling from your building society. Uh, but basically, before we continue, I need to ask you a series of security questions in order for me to confirm that it is actually me you are speaking to. Yeah. What is your name? My name. Correct. What is your favorite cola? I don't know who I'm talking to, but... Correct. What is your sort code? My what? Your sort code? 86,000 Ugandan dollars, madame. <laughs> that sounds lovely. Hello? 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 Good morning, sir. I'm uh, sorry to trouble you. I'm calling from your bank. Now, sir... Sorry, what was this, sorry? I'm sorry? So, sorry, who are you and what you're ringing about? I'm calling from your bank, sir. Um, My bank? Yes. Uh, basically, we have discovered a pigeon inside the bank vault, sir. Now, as you pigeon. know, sir... Yes, a pigeon. You know what a pigeon is, sir? A, a, a pigeon? Um, yes. It's a, it's a bird. Yes. There is a pigeon inside your bank account, sir. We need to remove it as soon as possible. Pigeon inside my bank account? Yes. A pigeon that has been spending a lot of time in the air conditioning unit. Now, as you know, sir, when you spend a lot of time underneath an air conditioner, you potentially catch a cold. So, basically, there is a pigeon who potentially has bad flu inside the bank for the bank. So, what we need, sir, is your account number so that we can enter your bank account, send the decontamination unit inside, remove the monies, uh, decontaminate, remove the pigeon, and then return the monies once the decontamination has concluded. Oh, right, I see, I see, yes, yes, I understand now, yes, yes, yes. Excellent. So if I could just start with the account number, sir. Yeah, sure, just bear with me a moment. It's 289-2877-1. Okay, uh, now on the bank account, uh, would there be any uh, security questions, a mother's maiden name, favorite color, favorite flavor of ice cream, perhaps, that you may have placed on the account, uh, yeah, to deter... You a security name, do you? Do you have a security question on your bank account, sir? Yeah, it's Jimmy Savile. What is the question, though? Oh, uh, who, who's your uncle? That's the question. Who is your uncle? And the answer is Jimmy Savile. 
Your uncle is Jimmy Savile. It is. I don't know if you know him. Have you ever heard of him? I do know Jimmy Savile, sir. You know him? Yeah. Oh, small world. I'm a big fan of Jimmy Savile. Oh, right, right. Jimmy will fix it for you. Oh, fantastic, I sent him yeah. many letters as a child, sir. Oh, right, excellent. He excellent. didn't send me back a thing. All oh, I well, really well, wanted... Word, What's your name? Sorry. All I really wanted was the, the medal, you know, the gold medal on the red ribbon. But luckily, my oh. father, he made me one anyway. Right. Well, yeah, we could get the pigeon out for but that would be fantastic. Thank you. But yes, no, the, the pigeon must be removed as soon it as must, possible. It because it potentially carries the, the bad flu virus strain. It does, it does. I don't want that flu. Yeah, you could get it out of my bank account for me. That would be excellent. Excellent. Thanks very much indeed for that. No problem at all, Thank sir. Thank you. Bye. Hello. Hello, madam. Uh, could I ask you a series of security questions enabling me to enter your bank account? No, certainly not. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Hello? Hello? Hello. Good day, sir. Uh, this is George. I'm calling from your bank. From my bank? Yes. Uh, the reason I'm calling you, sir, uh, is because uh, on Monday at about midnight, uh, the man who was in charge of uh, refilling the cash point at the bank, he discovered an illegal card reader inside one of the cash points. Mm -hmm. So I just need your sort code and account number so that we can compare them with the details that he had when he was in there. Who are you calling from? I'm calling from the bank. Which bank? Your bank. Which is my bank? The bank that you bank with. Yeah, and what's that called? It's one of the major banks, sir. No, I, I'm, could, I, I suggest you hang up and run because I'm going to phone the police. But why would you want to do that, sir? I'm totally legitimate. Listen, if you think for one minute, yeah, absolute bloody buffoon, I'm going to give you my bank details over the phone. Sir, please, I do not appreciate this language you're using against me, sir. I'm, I'm not using it. I've never used language. I've sir, not swore. You called me I a just... buffoon. Yeah, well, that's not swearing. No, but you are assuming I'm homosexual, sir. I do not no, appreciate that. that. Yeah, but Mrs. Mr. Buffoon, you don't even know what so bank please, I'm with. Please refrain from calling me a buffoon again, sir. Not puff, a buffoon. It's an animal, you idiot. Then you're calling me an idiot, sir. I don't, yes. Why are you trying yes. to abuse me, sir? I'm just trying to do my job. You're not. I <laughs> just, you, don't, you have to identify yourself. Who are you? I have identified myself. My name is George Agdu Duguengo. George, what's your surname? How do you spell that? Agdu Duguengo. Uh, can you spell that for me? So time is of the essence, sir. We can only hold the illegal card reader in Costa Day for another 48 hours. What, a card reader? A card reader is an item that they, they stick to the machine. Are you talking about the person you've arrested? No, sir. The person I've arrested is the illegal card reader. He was, oh, right, yeah. he was placed inside the cash point. The illegal card reader was placed in a cash line machine? Yes. And you have now got that? I have him. He was found at midnight on Monday. He had been in there for quite a while. Right. Apparently, the smell was not something too pleasant. Well, I'm Just... not giving you any details. You can't even tell me what my name is. I do know your name, sir. What's my name? You are Mr. McDougall? No. Try again. Well, you sound like Mr. McDougall to me. Have you spoke to Mr. McDougall before, have you? Yes, he was a performer. <laughs> Good evening, madam. My name is George, and basically, I am ringing to inform you that you have been selected to receive a CPM. A what? A cash prize monies. So basically, all I require from you to claim your prize are a few details. Uh, well, it depends what the details are. Well, uh, they are nothing too personal. Simply your bank account details and sort code. No way. Not interested, love. Thank you. it is a lot of monies. I look down and she's got a pair of balls. Paco, pair of balls. Do you sell the pink puss, babe? Hello? Hello? Oh, hello. Good day, sir. My name is George. I'm calling from British Gas. British Gas? Yes. It seems that we have overcharged you a substantial amount of monies, and we want to pay you the monies back. But in order for us to do this, we need to uh, obtain your bank account details so that we can pay the money directly into your bank You're account. You're joking. You think I'm going to fall for that trick? No, sir. You want to take my bank account details? I suppose you have a credit card number as well, do you? 
Well, if you have one to give us, sir, that would be even better. You're phoning me on, on a private number that nobody's got except me and well, a few few people, not you. Well, sir, if you're having an affair, sir, that is between you and your mistress. You're talking a load of old bollocks. Do you know that? No, I'm trying to obtain your bank account details, sir. Do you think I'm going to give you your bank my details? What's my name, then? Well, you should know your name, sir. You fucking idiot. Of course I know my name. I'm asking you to confirm who I am. You don't know. No, I do know your name, sir, but if what you... What is my name, then? You are Mr... Smith? Mr. Smith? Mr. Smithson, then. You better find another idiot, mate. I don't know what else to say, sir. No, I... Well, you don't know my name, and you think I'm going to tell you my bank details. You don't even know... If you're British Gas, how are you going to send me the money? Well, basically, uh, Cousin Benson, he has the, the rebate standing by. Who's got the money standing by? Cousin Benson. Who? My Cousin Benson. Cousin Benson? What's that? Sir, so, are you going to give me your bank account details or not? Of course I'm not. But I have a lot of other people to rebate well, today, sir. Well, then. Go on. I'm not interested in I don't know who you are. I told you who I am, sir. I I'm... don't know who you are. I... You're just talking a load of old nonsense. Sir, so, I'm George Agdugdugwengo. George, and you're talking about a cousin that deals with the money? Money transfer, yeah, cousin Benson. How much is it? The computer says that British guards have overcharged you over the last eight years. 36 million Ugandan dollars. <laughs> you you better go off and try and find another idiot, mate, OK? Besides, it's a lot of mourners. Goodbye. It's about my wife's bush. But, sir, I am totally legitimate. Jude Law's testicles. Hello? Good morning, madam. I hope I have not interrupted your breakfast. Uh, no. Who is speaking? My name is George. Yeah? Basically, I'm calling from the Republic of Agdugdugengo prize-giving department. Uh, yeah? I see from our database that you are owed a serious amount of monies. Uh, yeah, how, how are you choosing the person? Basically, uh, what happens is, every month we have a series of delegates. Uh, these delegates each have a hat. Now, in the hat, there is a pot. In the pot, there are names. They pull the pot out of the hat. They pull a name out of the pot with the names of the hat in it. And basically, they put all of these names into another pot. Mm. Now, in the pot, the communal pot, they have another list of names. When they draw those names out of their heart, it all goes into another heart which contains a pot. And out of the pot, we drew your name. Right. So basically, all I require from you, madam, yeah. is your sort code and bank account number, and we can wire you the monies as soon as possible. Yeah, but about how much you're speaking about it? Uh, my computer says you have been... Designated six pounds and eighty two pence, madam. Six pounds eighty two pence. Yes. Uh, yeah, it's all right. I'm not in the same thing is I don't like too much to, to give my bank account and my bank details in I totally understand that, madam, which is why we have a secure way of dealing with this problem. Basically, you give your details to me, I give them to nobody, and we wire you the monies directly. Yeah, it's all right, it's all right, but I'm not interested anyway, okay? Are you sure? Sure. Have a wonderful morning, madam. You too, you too. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Hello? Good afternoon, sir. Uh, basically, sir, I'm calling from your building society. Mm -hmm. It seems that uh, there has been a slight uh, discrepancy involving your bank account, sir. Uh, basically, what has happened is uh, the monies that you have accumulated in your account over the years, sir. Yeah. They need to be pressed and steamed, you see. Pressed and steamed? Yeah. You know when you make a withdrawal at the cash point, sir? Yeah. Uh, the money comes out very crisp, yeah? Oh, I see, yeah. Uh, however, the, the man who was in charge of these uh, responsibilities, uh, he suffered a cardiac arrest, sir. Oh, no. Yes. And unfortunately, uh, he has locked himself inside one of the vaults. That's tough. Now, inside one of these vaults uh, uh, is your bank account. Mm. 
But in order for us to get to him before he runs out of oxygen, uh, we need to obtain your bank account details yeah. so that we can send the salvage team into the bank account, uh, resuscitate uh, the gentleman, uh, send him to the ambulance, hospital, etc. And uh, hopefully everything in the bank account should be as good as new. Yeah, that would be great. So if I could just take your sort code, sir. But, yeah, unfortunately, I can't actually give you that on the phone. So I think we should leave him But, there. sir, the time is of the essence, sir. Yeah, I'm sure. The alarm bell went off less than 20 minutes ago. Well, there we are. It is my job to obtain as many personal details from you as possible. Yeah, which, which I'm afraid I'm not going to give to anyone I don't know. But, it's but sir, his life is on the line, sir. I know. Well, poor chap, he's going to die. You're going to let him die in there. I am. I'm but how are you going to get to your mourners? Well, I will... Um, the monies have not been pressed or steamed. If you go to the cash point, it will be unable to dispense monies to you. Well, never mind. I'll have to find another one. Sir, it is your conscience we are talking about here, yeah, sir. Are you a Christian, sir? I am, but anyway, thank you, you are. so much well, indeed. A good Christian would give um, me his sword call. Yeah, well, I'm going to go now. But, Bye-bye. sir, it is totally innocent. Hello? Good evening, madam. I am calling from your bank. I, I don't want anything from anybody. What do you mean, sir? Why are you such a miser? I don't want anything from anybody. I've got everything I want. You've got everything you want? Yeah. What about eight pounds and twenty-seven pence, sir? I don't want eight pound twenty-seven pence. Why not? Because I don't need it. But you are a prize winner, sir. I don't want to be a prize winner. How does it feel? I don't want to be a prize winner. I don't, I've got everything I want. Well, I'm afraid you are a prize winner in the Republic of Agdugdugwengo, sir. But I don't want any prizes. You can keep your prizes. I'm afraid I am not authorised to do that, sir. We must send you the cash prize immediately. But I don't want it. Where would you like me to wire you the money, sir? I don't want it. I don't want any money wired to anywhere. To your bank account, sir? No, thank you. Bank account details, sir. That's all I require. No, I don't want any. Want anything off of anybody. Why are you so miserable, sir? I'm not miserable at all. I just don't need anything. I don't want anything. Honor. But everybody could do with... Eight pounds and twenty-three pence. So I've got eight pounds and twenty-three pence. Well, you could double your money, sir. Well, I don't want to. You have it. I need some cheese. Yeah. Get a piece of cheddar, you can Hello. 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 Good evening, sir. I'm calling from your credit card company. I'm in bed. I'm sorry? I'm in bed. Well, I cannot help that, sir. Uh, basically, uh, what has happened is uh, we see in the database that the details of your credit card uh, seem to be missing, sir. Fuck off. I beg your pardon? No, I don't want this. I want doved. By doved? Doved. Okay, I have no idea what to say. Doved, doved. You want me to spell? Yes. Is it D? Yeah. V? Oh, DVD. Doved. 